Well, what a performance here from Simon Whitlock. But what a performance from Wes Newton, who's got through to the third round, the last 16 of the World Championship for the first time ever. He was brilliant in demolishing Northern Ireland's Brendan Dolan. Well, brilliant doesn't really sum up the performance of Simon Whitlock. It's been so much better than that. Fabulous performance. One set away from beating Dennis Ovens. And James Wade, the world number two. Brilliant. Do you know this bloke, Freddie? I've been watching on telly. There's been a few clowns in the crowd this week. And it's a big one in tonight. It's Robbie Savage. <laughs> Mind your ankles if he win. We'll have to do the exclusions on a lot bigger if uh, Robbie started playing darts, I think. Here come the booze. I had to have a second look. I thought he was one of the walk on girls. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Four set, first leg. Simon to Rover. I believe you have Game on. quite a bit of banter with Mr. Savage on, on Twitter. It's an amazing thing, that Twitter. Everyone just has a go at each other. It's like being back in the dressing room. Well, Whitlock should, with the darts in this fourth set, win it from here. Looks like Dennis has slowed up a little bit to try and get a, you know, a bit more rhythm. Certainly these two darts are working. Plenty of room to the left, Freddie. He's slowed down, Rod. Is, is that for his benefit or is that just to try and take the steam out of Whitlock? A little bit of both, really. I think this is for, for Dennis's benefit. You know, he knows he's not got the rhythm, he's not got the range. So he's just trying to throw every dart like a first dart, just to try and get some stability in his game because he knows he can play a lot better than that. We know. And uh, sometimes you will slow the player down if he's a quick player. You know, you've got to break the player out of his rhythm. It's all part of the game. Maybe he's on a bonus from the sponsors. I don't know, on his shirt. More her time on TV. 58. Stop talking about shirts. You've got no right to talk about shirts wearing that. That's coming from Yves Saint Laurent himself, Stuart Pike. Sporting a Georgia as the number this evening. No. Wayne Mardle's proud of you, son. He said, 100. actually talking of Twitter, he said on Twitter he will send you a shirt. I said, make it XXXL. Uh, five now. The average is 101. And Simon Whitlock is a man in a hurry. Possible 13 data here 100. to win. Another leg. Yeah, you can see, you can see Dennis is out of sorts as he takes out the double 12 again. I mean, he is crucial on these doubles. I mean, 56%, you know, Phil would be happy, more than happy. And if Simon can keep this sort of performance up, then certainly he's going to take some beat. You've got to play extremely well to get near him. Seriously, though, you can't help but be impressed with the way that, that Simon Whitlock 26. has played. Uh, very poor opening leg of the match, but since then he, he's he's looked world champion material, hasn't he? He has Pikey, but he's got a mountain to climb, though, to take this 95. tournament. You know, he's cruising here tonight, but like we said before, to take the title, to beat the power, he's going to have to up his game even more. Well, he plays Vincent van der Voor, he may yet... I have to play Adrian Lewis in that top half of the draw and we cannot write Mark Webster out of the equation either there's the, the prospect of the Webster Taylor quarter final six of the very best 180s for the wizard and he's just pushed his three dart average up to over 102 there Whitlock he's nudging up all the time 121 yeah certainly 17 140 pluses a lot more than the tons, and that's when you know a player is playing at the top of his game. Well, that's two on the trot. Astonishing. Whitlock now seven 180s. I've got to admit, I was daydreaming then. I was dying to bang out a 180. 85. Concentrate, Flint. Sir. 46. 11 data to go within one leg of victory. Uh, never in doubt. 13 data, 12 data, 
He's hit three one eighties with the two legs. And here he is throwing for a place in the last 16 with an average of nearly 103. Like you say, Rod, he's hitting 55% of his doubles. What, what, what's acceptable? What's good? What's bad? What's indifferent? Well, anything over 40% you're going to be happy with. If you push up to 55 and 60%, then you know you're at the top of your game. And of course, I mean, we've had Paul Nixon at an 82%, which is very unusual indeed. But uh, that means you're at the top of your game. 103 average. You know, you're going to, if anybody's going to beat you, they're going to have to play exceptional. But the set format does give other players an advantage because you can lose a set 3 0 <clears throat> and then go and win the next set. So the set does give other people the advantage. In the Premier League this year, oh, Whitlock three times had an 80% checkout success rate. He is the best in the business at the doubles. Oh, no, no, he's got three one. in there. He's coming. Oh, he's oh, just dropped below. Just when I thought I was going to get a chance to shout 180, he lets me down. Well, Whitlock 99. throwing for the match. Simon Call it in, Freddie. 18, 87, treble 17, treble 18, double eight. Double eight coming in for the beer to be feared. Here he goes. Oh, he's just there. Outside. He'll be back though for double four. Well, surely next time. 13, 12, and he's sitting on a 13 data here to set up what looks like a mouth-watering third round clash 45. with Vincent van der Voort. Double four. Eight. You can't imagine it's not going to finish here. Oh, it's wide. Oh, he's yeah, just slipped it in there. Simon Whitlock showing his class here tonight. A demolition job of Dennis Ovens. He walks off. He looks happy. He is. A bit happier than Ricky Ponting. Well, our thanks to Freddie Flintoff. Been a pleasure, as always, to have him in the commentary box here at the World Championship. It's been a pleasure to see Simon Whitlock's performance as well. 103 average. He's lost only two legs in the entire match. Whitlock is a major player for this world title.